Do you like time? Do you like efficiency? Do you like leveling your guns up? Well, you've come to the right place. Carry on watching this video to find out. And while you're here, please leave a like and subscribe. So are you struggling to level up guns in Warzone and Modern Warfare 3? Well, you've come to the right place. So with the new update of Season 1 Reloaded, they've brought back Plunder. Finally, oh my god, finally they've brought back Plunder. This makes leveling up guns a whole lot easier and it's just quite a fun game mode in general. But this video is going to be split into two segments, the first half being how to level up your guns the quickest way possible and the second half how to actually level up your guns without even touching your controller. You don't even need to be in the room and you still level up everything. So before we start, if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be much appreciated. I would take advantage of this very very quickly because as you can see in the bottom right hand corner double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass tier xp is live now so take advantage of this while you can there's another three days of this so it's absolutely perfect so this method is absolutely brilliant if you want to level up guns level up just generally or get battle pass tiers because this game mode just gives you so much xp in everything it's brilliant so the class setup you're going to want is the gun you want to level up, so I've chosen the HRM. I've already leveled this gun up fully, just testing out this method, but it does actually really work. This is full level, so you choose the gun you want to level up. A riot shield on your back, unless you want to level up a secondary at the same time, but I use a riot shield. A decoy grenade, the most important thing possible here. A throwing knife, doesn't matter what else you want. And the perk package, you want sleight of hand, EOD, resupply and shrouded. Basically all you want to have is sight of hand and resupply. The other two you can just choose what you want yourself. Alright we are now in so the first thing you want to do is go to the train. Yes I'm not being stupid because we need this ammo cache on the train. Alright we are on. So what you want to do stow your decoys into your bag, refill the ammo, stow it again, drop these I don't need those, refill again and just do this until your bag is completely full. There we go. So, now I have it, so you can see my bag is completely full of decoys. And I've got two spare as well. So now we have to go and find some people. Oh, I'm a bit stuck here. So every decoy you throw near somebody, it actually gets you 400 points. So literally just keep spamming these near people, look at that. That's all you need. You just need a couple of downs. Another one, there you go, thank you mate. Look at all this. Down him again. There you are, mate. There we go. That was so much XP, just right there and then. Nice. There you are, buddy. 400 points. Another 400 points. I mean, I haven't actually got any more now, so. Throw that. Oh my god. Oh, I got him as well. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. Damn it. Well, I mean, that's the end. I got some pretty damn good XP in that game. Purely because you just sit there spamming decoys at people. Look, 40k XP. I didn't really do that well that game, but 40k XP is very, very, very good. And look at that. That's how you get extra XP as well. Wow. So moving on to the second method, which is the AFK method. This is actually really, really good. So all you need to do is, as shown on screen here, you need a hairband with a controller, 
tie it round between the left trigger and the left stick so you're always walking forward. This will mean so when you're not in the room, you won't get kicked for being idle because if you just leave your controller, you'll get kicked for not moving. But this method means you'll never get kicked because it thinks you're actually moving and with your controller. So obviously squad fill and you also need to have auto parachute turned on. This is so you don't just die every single time you spawn or you jump out of the plane etc. So when you die, you'll then come back in, auto deploy the parachute and then you'll land and just start walking forward in a straight line. You'll then get caught on a wall or a bin or something like that and then just sit there for the whole game while your teammates do loads of contracts themselves and then when they complete a contract you get one yourself so as you can see on screen here once you finish your game you actually end up researching for a game automatically you don't need to click search yourself so if you continue on this method you will sometimes get lucky like I did on screen here when my team actually won the game without me even doing anything I got over 30,000 XP and it was absolutely brilliant, and I did absolutely nothing. I wasn't even in the room at the time.